What's going on everyone? It's your boy Cotton and in today's tutorial I'm just going to be breaking down the edit I did for the Young Buck and Little Boosty music video. I don't want to waste any of your time so let's jump straight into it. The first thing that I want to do is just show y'all the finished timeline. So I'm going to zoom in and kind of scrub through it so y'all can see it. A lot of cuts, a lot of overlays and compositing went into making this video. Now, if you watch the vlog uh, for the behind the scenes on this video, you know that this video is completely run and gun. We had no ideas when we were going into shooting this video. We got booked for this last minute. So we just shot a performance video and I already knew that everything that was going to make this video was going to come down to the edit. So a lot of the techniques in this video, like the the flashes and the, the mirror effect and and the ghosting effect and a lot of that stuff can be learned in previous tutorials that I've already dropped on the channel. So if, if those effects are something that you're interested in, definitely check them out. The two things that I want to talk about right now are using overlays as transitions and effects. So I got these lens flares from a place called Rampant, like Rampant design.com or something. I'll put a link to them in the description so you can find their products as well as a link to to download these exact studio flares for free. So what I did just let me show you a couple examples. Point the remote. No. Point where the two could be. The sample. You'll see them right there coming over. If I turn them on and off, you'll see exactly what they're doing. And I'll show you a couple of a couple of examples. So as you can see, it definitely does a lot to the footage and just gives it a whole new look and, and feel. So all I did was I delete this right here. I took some of their studio flares and I just selected a piece of it, drug it on top of the footage and set the blend mode to something like screen and then turn the opacity down some to like 35, 50%, whatever you like. All right, so the next thing that I wanna talk about is using the overlays as transitions. So let me show you what I mean right here. So if you see, if I turn this off, I just got this this overlay piece of video footage that I that I composited over my clip. That's all it is right there. So let me see if I can find that real quick. Right here. This all this is this clip right here. And what I did. I just took a piece of it. So I find a piece that I like. Select it. And then drag it onto my timeline. Change the blend mode to screen. I turn my footage back on. Now I got a cool transition. Alright, so this last overlay transition I did, um, I did using a piece of footage that I got when I did the edit for the Imagine Dragons editing contest. They gave me some free Adobe stock footage, so I, I thought that this video was a perfect time to use some of that footage. And it was just like this smoke overlay that I inverted and composited over the video. So this is it right here. This is what it looked like. So all I did was put it on top of the video. 
I added the invert tool. So let me type it in now. And then I changed the blend mode to screen. And it made this cool effect right here. So there you go. Some of the, the few effects that really made this video what it was. So, like I said, a lot of the other effects from the ghosting to the mirroring to the flickering all already on the channel, so go check those out. So if you like this video, be sure to click that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, share the video with all your friends, and I'll see you guys next time.